What's going on guys? Delvazar here with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. This time opening a box of the new Premium Gold Infinite Gold set. So yeah, I'm really excited about this set. There's a lot of really good cards in this set. So, let's go ahead and pop this open. Some cards that we're hoping to get from this would be uh, the new Beatrice that just got released. Um, some other Burning Abyss stuff, like both the Dantes are in the set, Virgil's in the set, uh, a bunch of really just good Exes, cards like Big Eye, uh, Digustral Emerald, a few of the new number cards, and just a bunch of stuff. I just cut myself. Oh, hopefully that's, that'll be fine. So let's go ahead and pop this open. A box comes with five mini boxes that I'll go ahead and get out and just leave them out here. So we've got one mini box, two mini box, three mini box, four mini box, and toppling them over. Five mini box. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab the one that I just dropped. Got all five of these here. I'm gonna op gonna be opening opening them all in this video, and hoping to get some good pulls. So let's go ahead and I should have just cut these open off screen too, but whatever. Ugh, there we go. So we got our first one here. Comes with three packs of infinite gold, each pack containing five cards. Uh, each pack contains two two gold secret rares and uh, three gold rares. So I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna open all of these up at once and then grab them out one at a time. Might save us a little bit of time. Well, Probably won't save us any time because still doing the same stuff. But it'll have everything just in their own separate little sections. There's another one. Oh, there's also the uh, Cosmo core set. Most most of the Cosmos are, or most of the better Cosmos are in here. I think they are all gold secret rares though, so it's going to be pretty hard to pull the entire core set from here, but there's still a bunch of really good cards. I don't know if Eclipser's in here. I think a lot of the cards from the last few sets, except for like Breakers of Shadow, are in here, like from Clash of Rebellions and before. Pretty much anything's in here. So we'll go ahead and open the first pack now. And first thing we have, oh nice. A Luster Pendulum, the Draco Slayer. Draco Slayer, however you want to pronounce it. Too bad he's at one now, so all those Pepe players and Draco Pal players don't get his full stuff, but still good. Cosmo. Wicked Witch, Spell Shattering Arrow, uh, Tsukumo Flash, and Virgil. What is his actual name? Bla Rockstar. Rockstar of the Burning Abyss. He's a rock star. Awesome. It's already some really good cards. Like, if you can pick one of these things, one of these boxes up for retail price. Not the jack that price that's going for right now, then I would definitely do it if you don't have a lot of these cards because it's just an easy way to get a bunch of really good cards. We're gonna take that away from you. We're gonna take that away from you, dog. She likes that squeaky ball, so yeah, wait, that go okay. So we now have Vector Pendulum, the Draco Slayer, Beatrice, nice. Awesome to pull one up here. 
I can't really play her in my Phantom Knight deck, but if I ever try and make a Phantom Knight BA deck, then she'll be good. Reasoning, nice. Magical King, Moonstar, nice, haven't seen him before. And then Kaga, Melibranch of the Burning Abyss. Yeah, a lot of the Burning Abyss core set is in here, so. And there's also a few new Phantom Knight traps, which I'm kind of excited about. Like, I really want the traps, but they aren't that great. One of them's kind of okay, but the other two were kind of... Eh. But I still want them, just because I love Phantom Knights. So now we have Norito, the Moral Leader. Fire Hand, nice. Dark Mirror Force, awesome. Number 84, Pain Gainer. He's new, I think? I think he's new. I've seen him in OCG, I don't know if he, we've had him in TCG. And then another Burning Abyss. Drag, Dragic. Dragic. Awesome. Let's open it. So that's the first box. We got a Beatrice from the first movie box, so that's pretty good by itself. Let's see if we can get some Cosmo Dark Destroyers or something. That'll be nice. I can already see we got a Volcanosaurus. Or Volcasaurus. Number 61, Volcasaurus. And then, Time Space Trap Hole, really good. So many good cards in this set, jeez. Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, really good if you're playing a Cyber Dragon deck against some Cosmos. Magical King Moonstar, and another Calcab. I never know the names of the Burning Abyss monsters. Calcab, another branch of the Burning Abyss. Awesome, awesome. We got Evil Swarm Ouroboros, Horn of Heaven, awesome. I think this is the errated version, so now people won't be questioning you if you try and uh, destroy multiple summon monsters or negate multiple summonings. Remove Brainwashing. I don't think we've had this before. It's a really weird looking card. I kind of like it though. Junk Charger. Changer, not Charger. And then, Gaff. We seem to be having just a Burning Abyss card in every single pack. If you want to build a Burning Abyss deck, now's your chance, guys. It's a really good deck. Okay, add some Phantom Knights to that. Okay, now we have a Gaga -ga Cowboy. A Grand Horn of Heaven. A Mask Change, awesome. Could use that for my hero deck. Dark Advance for those Monarch players out there, and another, another Virgil. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Next box. Oh man, I did not know you were in here. Black Rose Dragon. That's pretty cool. Did not know she was in there. Uh, Black Horn of Heaven. Storming Mirror Force. You got all of the Mirror Force that are in here, all of the like trap holes and horns of heaven. Just great. Tsukumu Slash. Ah, oh, you got the ball. Give me that. I don't know where to put this so that way you can't get it. I guess up in here. And a dog. And then another Burning Bitch Seer. So many Burning Abyss cards. Jeez. Let's move these around. Now she's shuffling through a bunch of stuff, trying to find the ball. Can't find it. It's my own. I stole it. Another Norito, the Moral Leader. Treacherous Trap Hole. Mass Change Second. Awesome. I might put that in my Phantom Knight deck since I run Dark Well. Red Supremacy for your Red Dragon Archfiend lovers. And another Burning Abyss. Skarm. Have we even gotten, like, two of the same Burning Abyss yet? We had to. Oh. Almost opened up. another box and I still have a pack left. Oh man, that Arcanite Magician. So good, so good. Cosmo Light Sword, Blazing Mirror Force, Phantom Knights of Shade Brigadine. Nice. This one's kind of the not so great ones, but... And then Barbar. Bad bar, Barbar. 
All that burning abyss. All that burning abyss. So many good cards from the set. It's unbelievable. Vector Pendulum, Trick of Overlord. Ice Hand, Dark Mirror Force. Number 35, Ravenous Tarantula. That goes with our other number that we got. And then, Libic, Lily Branch of the Burning of Us. So many Burning of Us. I guess, yeah. I guess you're almost guaranteed at least like two or three Burning of Us monsters per pack, or per mini box. Oh man, that's what I want. Number 11, Big Eye. I definitely want you for my Dark Magician deck. Time Space Truffle. E. Telly, nice. Shining Hope Ray and Maxi. Oh man, nice. That's that's a good pack right there. Got Big Eye, E. Telly, and Maxi. E. Telly might get hit in the next ban list, but we'll see. Oh man. Castell, the Sky Blaster, Musketeer. Nice. Cosmo Dark Fighter. Fairy Wind, awesome. And there we go, Phantom Knights of Dark Gauntlets. This one's one of my favorite ones. This one lets you summon them as a monster from the graveyard if you, your opponent attacks directly. And then it's also a foolish burial for spells and traps. So this one's the one that I might run one of just to test it out. It's pretty cool. And Skarm. And I just love the way that one looks. It looks pretty awesome. So last mini box. See what we get. Still haven't pulled a Dark Destroyer. I would happily take one of those. Or a Giant Hand. I forgot that. That was a new Giant Hand. Also, a really good card. Welcome to Source. Horn of Heaven. Mistaken Arrest. Doug, get out of the trash pile. King's Consonants. And Skarm again. Okay. Almost done. Oh man, there's another one. It's really good. Concealer Pleiades. Well, Grand Horn of Heaven. Mass Change Second. Phantom Knights of Dark Gauntlets. Sweet. And Rubik. Rubik, right? Yeah, Rubik. Awesome. So many good cards. I mean, if you. Heck, just getting these as trade bait is probably worth it. Hey, another Black Rose Dragon. Void Trap Hole. Mass Change. Phantom Knights of Tomb Shield. That's the third uh, Phantom Knight card. This one's actually not too bad either. So I might try and run this one too. But honestly, it's not too great. And Alich. Another bunch of the Burning Abyss. So sweet. No Dark Destroyers. But we did get Big Eye, Pleiades. Uh, Beatrice. We got a bunch of good stuff. So, yeah. A really good set, I would say. Well worth the money if you need any of these cards. I mean, maybe not to resell because the price will probably go down for a lot of them because now they're so easy to get. But if you just don't have them and you want to pull them along with some other stuff, then I say go for it. So it was... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe and I will post more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos at a later date. And thank you all for watching. See you next time.